Welcome, pilots! This video is part of my guide detailing every high security combat site. While I normally fly an Ishkar, for Sancha's nation sites I've instead chosen to fly another assault frigate called the Jaguar. This ship performs quite well in the Sancha hideaway. Combat anomalies appear in your probe scanner window, and you can warp to them immediately. The Sancha Hideaway is a combat anomaly found all over the eastern regions of Amar space. This includes Domain, Tash Murkon, Devoid, and a Derelict. It's quick to run, even for newer pilots flying a frigate. And it does have some potential for loot drops. This site is not to be confused with the Sancha Hideout, which is a combat signature that must be probed down. Nor its three variations, the Sancha Hidden Hideaway, Sancha Forsaken Hideaway, or Sancha Forlorn Hideaway, which are all more difficult than the regular Sancha Hideaway. The site consists of either a bunker or an observation post at its center. There are four waves of up to three Sancha's Nation frigate or corvette NPCs. If you're lucky, a bonus wave may appear with a frigate identified as a true Sancha. The true Sancha NPC will always drop a true Sancha copper tag and a single Sancha small frequency crystal. If you're even more lucky, it may also drop a true Sancha module. These are the prizes you're hoping for if you're out looking to make some isk. Destroying all NPCs also has a small chance of escalating to a Sancha's command relay outpost, which is normally otherwise found by probing down combat signatures. Escalations will appear on the Exploration tab of the Agency window. A ship like the Jaguar, fit with light missiles, is capable of running this site in about a minute. For newer MR pilots, an Executioner, Tormentor, or Punisher fit with beam lasers will do almost as well. In fact, almost any frigate or destroyer is capable of running the site quickly, with tactical destroyers being the most efficient. Many larger ships can actually be a detriment, as their lock times tend to be too long to compete against frigates or destroyers. If you're out in a cruiser class ship or larger, I would recommend either an Orthrus or a ship with a supply of auto-targeting light missiles. While recording the footage for this video series, I kept track of the statistics for 100 Sancha hideaway sites. Over this period, six of these spawned a true Sancha pirate. Only two of these dropped something beyond the faction ammo and tag. The best result was a true Sancha warp scrambler. Six of the sites escalated to a Sancha's command relay outpost, and I was quite lucky to have all six drop something beyond the overseer's effects. I'll be detailing the command relay outpost in a separate video. But for the purpose of detailing loot drops, these were my statistics. Three of the sites dropped a Senti A-type multi-spectrum coating, which I suspect comes down on the side of outrageously lucky. In high security eastern Amar space, you'll also find the Sancha Burrow, Refuge, and Den among the combat anomalies, as well as combat signatures named the Sancha Hideout, Lookout, Watch, and Vigil. Note that the western Amar regions have very similar combat sites featuring Blood Raider NPCs. Other NPC pirates include Rogue Drones, the Serpentis, Garistas, and Angel Cartel. My journey to host a complete set of combat site video guides began in 2020 with a similar 13-part series for Serpentis combat sites. I followed this up with similar series for Garistas, Angel Cartel, and Blood Raiders. If you find yourself outside of Eastern Amar space, you can check out those videos right now. If you're curious about fitting assault frigates for combat site exploration, you can check out the gaming section of my website over at RileyEntertainment.com. Stay tuned to Riley Entertainment for more EVE Online combat site guides, and smash that like button if you enjoy my content.